Hello Virgo, thank you for stopping by for Tea with Tarot. I am Enchanted One and I deliver guided intuitive messages directly from the divine. Virgo, this is your romance reading for the month of March 2019. What we'll do here is we'll take a look at the messages or the information you need to know and then we'll go over your best approach po possible, your advice from your spirit guides and angels, okay? So at this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the energy that's present for you for March. Let's tap into and get what you need to know, the information you need. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. As it relates to the zodiac sign Virgo as a collective, what is the energy that you have for them? Thank you. For the Virgo. Okay, Virgo, what I see here for you is that there's some attachments, okay? You have some old attachments that you need to release or some new attachments that you formed that you need to let go. There could be a false sense of attachment, all right? So for the month of March, we want to focus on those romantic attachments because this is your romance reading, Virgo. What I'm saying here is that you're becoming, you're coming into a more grounded, balanced space when it relates to your love energy overall, Virgo. I see that there's blessings, of a, a cornucopia of blessings ahead for you. God is showing up and showing out in major ways and they want you to know that you're healed. Whether you've experienced the loss or whether you're grieving the loss of a loved one, you need to know the balance is being restored back to you. There's love. There's healing. There's abundance. But you've got to tap into the white healing light. You've got to tap into this healing energy if you want to be receptive to this healing um, power. What I see here is that there could be some conflicts as it relates to a divine masculine energy that's holding your heart at this moment. I, the, what your spirit guides and angels are saying that it's decision making time. It's time for you to make a, a decision, make the best choice possible for yourself. I do see a period where you come to the realization that you do need to move on from whatever is holding or whatever divine masculine energy is holding you, whatever divine feminine energy is holding you. I see that your heart is also going through a transformation in the month of March. And with this transformation comes realization. As I say that you have the hermit card that blows over Virgo. What your spirit guides and angels want you to do is to take time for yourself to, so you can acknowledge your path. Set out on your path, Virgo. There's some information that you need to seek as it relates to your spiritual DNA, your spiritual identity. S-I-D. However those initials resonate with you, that could be the initials of a deceased loved one. Someone is coming through at this moment for the zodiac sign of Virgo, a deceased loved one. S-I-D. Any of those initials, it could be one initial or all three initials. They want you to know that you're, they're guiding you and they're protecting you. You've been in the dark a little long, Virgo. It's time for you to come to the light and release yourself from whatever happened whatever i see oh this is getting deep virgo i see there being a situation that took place a traumatic experience that you went through that your heart suffered and because of that you've been going down this dark twisting winding path as it relates to your romance life how you feel about love how you see love and how you receive love it's time for you to release this dark energy this cloud that you have over your head virgo as it relates to the month of march and your love life it's time for new energies to be brought in it's time for old energies to be released and set out everyone need, has to start their path this is the initiate the initiation process initiation of a path find your path virgo you're setting out to find your path in the month of march as it relates to your romance life i see you letting go of things that that uh, romantic issues and situations that have put a strain on your heart virgo i see you following the light You could be on the fence as it relates to the family side as well. Some of you, if you're not pregnant, if you haven't conceived, you're on the fence as it relates to your um, your lover. There could be a love emotional offer that's been withdrawn or rejected. But I see you making a decision as to what, what to do to move forward. 
in this situation as it relates to giving life, whether that's the conception of a child, whether that's the conception of a new way of thinking, a new way of being, a new idea. I see you moving on and moving forward, even though this emotional offer has been withdrawn. Yeah, the hangman in reverse. You're moving forward. The empress. For some of you guys, you're trying to hold on to something that you never even had a grasp on. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than us. You never even had a grasp on this, and neither did I. But it's time for you to let go now with the Empress being here. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this back and forth, the backstabbing, it's time for it to end. It's time for the hurt to end. It's time for the healing to begin. Doesn't matter where you're going through, where you've been. It's time for the healing to begin for everyone, all walks of life, all creations of life. This is a healing process. So even though we're living in a very chaotic time right now, the ethers have opened up so that we find peace within. And we manifest peace on the outside in the physical realm. So you can take your little ten swords and you can go head on. They're already gone. You've gone through a cleansing process. All right, you got the Ace of Swords. There's some truth and there's some clarity in the month of March as it relates to your romance life, Virgo. The Knight of Pentacles. The coin could be slow to come. This is a side note for you, Virgo. Whatever financial aspect or whatever you were waiting on to come is coming, but it's just not going to be a return or an immediate situation. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the tarot deck, darling. Be patient with the process. Nemotona is here to let you know that you need to cleanse your space, create a sacred space, cleanse your house, do a home blessing in your home. Your home is your sanctuary. Your home is where you generate fruits of your labor, the very thoughts, the intent, the idea. Clean your house physically and mentally and spiritually. Clean your mind, declutter your mind, clean your home, clean your temple, cleanse your body. The vagina is a portal to life. Cleanse your portal. It's not a pussy. It's a portal. The romance angels want you to know advice from your romance angels. Separation. There's a separation on the horizon. Time apart is on the horizon. Whether you want to or not, if you go with it, the more comfortable the change will be. If you don't go with it, the more uncomfortable the change will be. Go with the grain. Don't go against the process. You're the co-creator. Understand your place and your position. Very soon, there's a separation on the horizon. Very soon. Romantic feelings in reverse. All right? And children. Okay? So, Virgo, what I'm seeing here is that... Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so what I'm seeing here is that children are affecting your romantic relationship. It could be your children. Finding time for your lover, your divine counterpart, whoever, with children, including the children. Children need to be provided for, protected, and taken care of regardless of whatever you're choosing to do romantically. What I'm seeing here is that there's a separation on the horizon very soon. There are no more romantic feelings here. There's not enough flame or spark to keep this relationship going. For a cluster of you, the relationship was built on something, on a shaky foundation. That's why this tower moment has presented itself. But it's all right and it's okay because we move, we grow, and we learn. We learn, we grow, and we move on. There will be a passion. There will be a passion coming into your magnetic field, but this passion is going to be for you. Here in the ether, we all have our vibration levels. You just tapped into the wrong vibration level. Now just get in your lane, Virgo, and receive what's for you. 
Well, my Virgo, thank you so much for stopping by for Tea with Tarot. That was your love reading as it relates to the month of March 2019. I pray that you are blessed and you receive all of your abundance for the grieving hearts out there. There is help in the universe. You're never alone. Reach out and speak. Until the next time, be blessed, stay positive. Namaste.